In this how-to video using Backup Exec 2012, I'm going to show you how to restore a job that was just recently backed up. So if you go from the home screen to the Backup and Restore option, I'm going to go over here to where it says Restore. And we're going to choose the Files, Folders, and Volumes, the only option. And we can do a search through Archives and other things, but we already know where this is, so we're going to go ahead and choose the File and Folder Backups. From here we see the files that were backed up, the date. We're going to go ahead and check that box. Next. And we want it to the original location or we can redirect it to another location. We're going to leave it at the original one. Click Next. And we're going to choose to restore over the existing files and keep the NTFS permissions. We can also choose to restore files that were corrupt or incomplete. In this case, you don't have to worry about that. And of course, we can recreate the directory structure as well. So that way it looks exactly like it did when we backed it up. And we're going to preserve the existing junction points, mount points, all those different things. Restore disk quoted data, not important at this time. Restore removable storage data for older operating systems. And we can choose to run a command before or after the restore. In this case, we don't need to. And we have some other options as well. We can let Backup Exec check the exit codes, run job only if the pre-command is successful, is checked by default. We can also set up notification. Click on Manage Recipients, and here we can add a recipient or a group. Go ahead and uncheck that. Choose Next. And we can choose to run this on a schedule, run it now, give it a name if we want to. And we can also tell it to cancel the job if it's running for a long time. And we'll go ahead and look at the summary and finish. Here we'll go up to jobs. You'll see the restore job here is active. It was successful. And that job is done.